No. Then I'll think about it, but I'll leave it. And if it's still here, then I'll have to sign that I'll think about it more. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny Sunday. What is up? Today's video, we are going thrifting specifically for spring clothing. I know it's still winter, but I have realized I am a spring gal. I think it has to be my favorite season. And every year, right around the last week of January, I am like over winter and I go into full on spring mode. So I kind of want to go thrifting for pastels, florals, just colorful items to kind of get me in the spring spirit. Before we actually head into the thrift store, I did just want to thank today's sponsor, Pila, which the phone case I've been rocking since like October time is actually from Pila. And I just love working with them because they're an advocate for a waste-free future. All their products are compostable. And when you purchase a product from Pila, there isn't any plastic or extra packaging. All their phone cases are super soft and drop proof up to six feet. And whether you're looking for a phone case, an iPad case, a smartwatch band or even airpod cases Kila has so many different colors and designs that won't contribute to waste Kila is offering the first 40 people who use my code alexa sunshine will get 40 percent off their order so thank you so much Kila, for sponsoring today's video and now let's head in guys i am already dying i walked in and this was the first thing i see is the cutest little cardigan that could be a little sweater and it kind of has like spring clothing but it's still a sweater so it's kind of a nice transitional piece i'm obsessed oh my gosh honestly as i was getting ready for this trip with me i totally accepted that i wasn't going to find anything today and that was going to be totally okay it was just about like a thrifting you know exciting journey of it all and i already found one piece this is really pretty it's like a deep green i like it but it doesn't have any buttons and i i don't think i would wear it as much so i don't know i'm just like in a cardigan phase right now this i don't think i'm gonna get i think it's really cute and it's just like a nice delicate themed cardigan but oh it's only three dollars and 79 cents so that's amazing super cute Oh my gosh, this is so, what the heck is them having a bunch of really cute cardigans? Look at how cute this is. It's like a lavender, it's from who, what, where? Oh my gosh. It's a really nice like lawn cardigan. It even has little shoulder pads in it. They have literally three racks dedicated to cardigans and sweaters. What? Mine has like maybe half a rack and that's it oh my gosh like i'm not even trying to be dramatic the sweater game at this thrift store was insane like every single sweater i just wanted to take home with me this rainbow one so cute although i didn't really like the v-neck part so that's why i ended up leaving it but so many cute snuggly sweaters none of them even itchy which like never happens all the colors were so beautiful i mean i apologize that basically this entire like first part of this video is me just absolutely drooling over sweaters but they were just so good and i i had to share it i was so excited and i kind of wanted to not buy too many just because with where i live it doesn't say too cool for a while i mean it was like 90 degrees almost every single day the week that i filmed this now it's like 60 degrees so it's kind of all up in the air but just so many good ones like look at these two cardigans this first one i was i was really tempted it was so beautiful i love the embroidery flowers on it this was just such a dream again i was so conflicted because i wanted it so much and i didn't end up thrifting it even this sag harbor almost charcoal gray cardigan those beautiful pearl buttons just so amazing Okay, I don't need either of these jackets, but I just need to show you because of how cute they are. This leather one with a little trim on there. It's kind of like a deep chocolate brown. So, so cute. And then there's this one from Cleo. Oh, leather blazer. Oh my gosh. I mean, I already own one, so I'm not, I'm not gonna buy it, but 
appreciation for it. It's so beautiful. I'm really tempted by this top. I love the lace and the material. It's white. It is like $10 and it is mainly see-through, so I'm not gonna buy it, but it's so pretty. They honestly have a really good kind of like intimate apparel section. I even found almost kind of like a corset style. So honestly, this is probably the best thrift with me I've done in like five months where it just, the vibes, the vibes are good. Oh, this floral dress is so cute, but it does seem a little bit too big. So I'm gonna leave it. I feel like I would have to take it in a little bit and I'm just not willing to put in that work at the moment. So leave it for somebody else. Oh, this is a cute little like blazer. This dress reminds me of the sequence trend, sequin, sequin trend that I keep seeing on all these different websites. This one's actually pretty cute. I think this dress is so cute. I definitely don't think this material is necessarily like super flattering on me, but I do like the kind of like layered, especially with it being green and then a lighter green and then white. Super cute. This skirt definitely reminds me of like dark fairy core. It has like the tears, which I really, really like. I think it's so cute, but I wish I had a tie on the waist because it definitely seems like it's going to be low waisted and then a little bit loose. So I definitely would have to resize it. Uh, I think I am going to leave it, but it's so cute. I want this blazer's cute, originally from Talbots. The pattern and color is super fun. This green blazer was so nice, but it didn't have a collar on it. So that's why I ended up not thrifting it, but such a bright in your face green. You guys know I love the color green, so I'm sad that I had to leave that one. This blazer was also amazing. I loved the pattern and then also the collar was almost not a suede, but not a velvet. It was just a nice kind of material. This sweater, it was gray. It was by Gap. I was so surprised how much I actually liked it. I usually don't like gray sweaters. This blazer had just beautiful details. All those little pearls, none of them were missing. Like that never happens. So I am in the denim section, not because I'm looking for jeans. I am looking for overalls. I don't know. I feel like if I even find some that I think are perfect, I would want to try them on. So I probably wouldn't buy them, but I just want to see. I found like Forever 21 ones where they're like kind of tight and I was like, eh, nah. But they have a really good like denim section here. It's like three full like lawn racks. So I moved from denim and skirts to now blouses. This is interesting. It's like a faux fur. Interesting top. But I don't know. I feel like it's originally from like Shein or something. Little puffy faux fur. Faux fur. Faux leather. Not faux fur. It's actually kind of cute. No. I'll think about it, but I'll leave it. And if it's still here, then that's a sign that I'll think about it more. It's actually a really cute one. Definitely reminds me of like spring, summer last year. Actually, this is really cute. I didn't think I was actually gonna like it. I kind of like that it's a little sheer. We'll hold on to it. It's a cute little top originally from Top Shop. I really like the color. It's like a, is this millennial pink? No, it's like a mauve, right? This top is such an interesting material. It's like gold. I don't think I would properly wear it and it's not in my size, so I'm gonna leave it. But it's just magnificent, magnificent, mag magnificent, magnificent, magnificent. I went in a little bit of the women's blouses, but I just feel like it's such a hit or miss with women's blouses. Either you find something just amazing or nothing at all. And I kind of don't know what kind of style blouse I'm even looking for. So that's probably also it. I'm just indecisive. I honestly usually never go into the shoes because there's never really anything cute in my size. These aren't in my size, but they're just interesting. I feel like all their shoes here are actually like really clean. They actually have like four or five different cowboy boots here. Quite expensive. I don't think I said this, but this is probably the most expensive 
savers that I've been to in Southern California. Honestly, even because I've been to one in Hawaii and Portland and this one is definitely the most expensive. I think they do get a lot more designer. So maybe that's one. I literally just met the nicest subscriber, Samantha. Oh my gosh. If you ever see me out at the thrift store or anywhere, like please say hi. It makes me feel better when I'm like filming in public, feeling anxious and wanting to like crawl into a ball. It reminds me that these types of videos make you guys happy they make me happy obviously but that like you may have started thrifting because of me which is absolutely so crazy this is the best thrift of me i've ever done i'm just saying it all positive things happening <laughs> on my phone but yeah I feel really good I mean I don't know if my plan worked of getting spring clothes I mean there's definitely spring colors but they're sweaters so I, I guess that is what spring is it's not too hot like summer but it's a little bit but then it's kind of cold so yeah I feel I feel pretty good so I'm gonna head on home and then share with you guys what I got Alrighty, we are back home. Everything has been washed and I feel like I really did what I was wanting to do, which was thrift spring items. I think I very much hit the nail on doing pastels while also I have kind of like a flannel patterned item. So, you know, I got a little bit of a mix and we're just gonna head right into it with this first piece that I am a little bit confused and disappointed because it is this Urban Outfitters dress this plaid kind of baby doll dress and i've seen this on urban outfitters for like the past couple years it's part of their urban renewal collection and i believe it was 11 dollars at savers and the thing is when i first saw it i kind of put it up to myself and i was like oh my gosh yes it's a shorter dress but it has that baby doll style and i think just with some black tights and boots it would be so cute but after i washed it i don't know why i did this but i put it in the dryer and i am 99 percent sure I shrunk it a bit like now it's basically like a baby doll top I mean it could be a dress if you were shorter so I'm a little disappointed because I can't really wear it how I wanted to wear it and again I am pretty sure when I originally saw it at savers I put it up and made sure that it was long enough but of course I made a rookie mistake and put it in the dryer and I don't know why a little sad uh it's still cute it's just not how I wanted to wear it. Next is this beautiful purple cardigan, originally from Who What Wear. It is in a small, and I wanna say it was probably like $9, but it is just the cutest little cardigan. It very much reminds me of this brown cardigan that I have that I honestly am just so in love with, so I'm so happy to then have it in a purple. It's just so beautiful and delicate and amazing, and I really like the buttons being brown they are kind of like a little statement so it has extra details versus just being like a, a plain cardigan it has something extra it has a little bit of a puff sleeve which i do really like and the whole thing i am just honestly in love with i'm so excited that i was able to find it and during the fall and winter of 2021 i didn't really gravitate towards any sweaters i think maybe i bought one sweater i feel like it's because i started to fall in love with cardigans because you can wear them unbuttoned or you can wear them buttoned and they look like a sweater so the next cardigan is this super bright pink one originally from the company leon levin i just thought it was so precious and as you guys know i'm so picky about my cardigans and sweaters not being itchy or uncomfortable and both of these are quite comfy especially this one it's surprisingly quite soft and i love this color it's so fun it's almost kind of like a neon but just a nice deep pink and i am super obsessed with it it just makes me feel so happy 
and that was everything I got from this thrift trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun going thrifting. I don't know. There was just something about the energy that day, especially for being on a Saturday that I went. I thought it was going to be terrible, but it ended up being amazing. I found so many cute stuff. If you guys do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandrite 83 I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye!